Welcome everybody to part three of my t-shirt uh, collection showcase. Um, at least the t-shirts that I have from uh, the different places I've been to over the years. Um, mostly in my latter half that I've been assembling this collection and I've been to a lot of places to collect all these wondrous t-shirts. All right, so this place is Quincy, Massachusetts. So that's where I saw a decent amount of stuff from uh, the uh, from uh, Colonial Massachusetts. I saw the old church in which uh, you know the Unitarian Church that uh, John Adams and his son were members of. And underneath below, they've got an old crypt where the two former presidents are actually buried, which is a very cool uh, thing to go and visit and also see the church. And I don't, I'm not, I'm not a religious person. I'm atheistic, but I still do recommend uh, a donation to this church because it is a historical landmark of this country and it holds two former presidents. So... In that sense, I do support, uh, I do think you should definitely give this national monument a donation, even if you do not believe in its uh, teachings, in its religion, etc. Be just because of the historical value of this church to this country. Um, so, yeah, and then I got this at the, uh, I'm pretty sure this was at a... Uh, Yes, in the it was in the National Park shop for the Adams National Historic Park in Quincy, Massachusetts. So yeah, love the fact that <laughs> they've got stuff for the tourists in uh, Quincy, Massachusetts, Quincy, Mass. All right. Next, we've got California State Capitol that I got in the beautiful Sacramento, California. You see, you've got kind of a seal where it says the uh, California State Capitol. And then you've got, instead of the seal of California, you've got uh, a picture of the Capitol building. And you've got two stars on the side. And below, it says the city, Sacramento. It is a great, they've also got t-shirts of uh, uh, the flag of California, which I did get. Um, I haven't, I don't think I've actually got a flag of California yet, but uh, that should be one to add for my collection of flags as well. Um, but yeah, uh, great, a good, cap a decent capital t-shirt. Uh, it's, uh, I would say that's a very interesting and neat capital t-shirt that I like, a, that I do tend to like. Um, it's not like a sort of flashy design, it's elegant and simple, straight to the point. That's a good, uh, capital t-shirt right there. All right. Ooh. This is a t-shirt I got from, uh, London, or somewhere around London, when we went to the Wimbledon games, um, a few years ago. So this is a very interesting uh, Wimbledon sort of t-shirt because uh, my mom's a big tennis junkie and so uh, we've sort of gotten very into tennis from because she's very into tennis. Uh, she plays on a sort of a tennis league with a bunch of the uh, other sort of moms around uh, Dallas, so uh, it's uh, very. So she's like very much into te playing tennis. She's been very. She's uh, gotten us tennis lessons and stuff because she's pretty into little tennis still. So yeah, and then this is the. Uh, this is a t-shirt. I actually got this one online. 
Um, this is a Tennessee flag shirt. Now, the reason I got this online, and the reason why I could have gotten another t-shirt online, but I didn't want to do that, because this is essentially a replica of the t-shirt that I got while I was in Tennessee, but for some reason, I don't know what, I can't find it. So I'm like, okay, so I went online and I looked for a t-shirt that's roughly the same. It's not exactly the same because it's a little bit worn, and I think that that's probably the design of it being a bit more worn. But it was more of like a, a more sort of finished and polished uh, version of this where the design of the in within this flag of Tennessee was more prominently displayed it wasn't very faded whereas this one looks to be intentionally faded um, so yeah um, if I ever do find the original t-shirt that would be great but I doubt I'll find it it's probably some either somehow I lost it it got stolen not, I don't think possible, most more likely I lost it. Or it got moved to some other place and it's sitting in a drawer in some obscure location um, in, sto in some storage area. And then this one I got when I went to DC. We drove into DC from Baltimore after we saw the uh, Fort McHenry deal. Because that we tend to knock a lot of these places out on major road trips where we go see a bunch of locations. All at once we f we fly and then we just do a driving tour around that area like we did all of New England in one little drive around trip so that was fun we saw the state we saw I when I went to DC I saw the US Capitol I didn't see the White House I didn't want to see the White House yet I wanted to do that later but yeah I saw the US Capitol building that was a very uh, awesome trip and I actually did a lot of walking I went from the Capitol to the Lincoln Memorial. I walked by the White House, not in it, because you can't get in it unless you have a prior appointment. And uh, you need to go through like background checks and stuff to get admitted. Um, so if you have, I don't know, not everyone can go to the White House. That's just all I'm saying. And then, of course, if you want to actually see the Houses of Congress, you need actual invitation. Uh, to go there, um, which is pretty easy to get. Um, foreigners, I'm not sure how you're going to get it, because uh, um, if you have an American friend, that's the easiest way, and then they call up their representative, and they, and uh, it doesn't matter if they're from D.C. or not, but if, if as long as they are, they are in the United States, I'm pr I, uh, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure they c you could uh, they could contact their representative, and you could get uh, passes to the uh, to Congress from their representative from their representative or senator's office, where whatever. All right, so that's what I would recommend for you uh, um, foreign visitors to D.C. Then this is uh, a hockey jersey I got from uh, Mura, which is a city in uh, in uh, Sweden. Uh, it's pretty cool. They've got uh, Mura Yiko, Vade, Mura Yiko. Mora is hockey club. Nick. Mora Mora I K. M I K. So yeah. Mora Knil. On the back. So yeah, very interesting little deal I got from Mora. I fairly expensive. Um, at least I think um, yeah then I haven't then this is a shirt actually my sister got me because she knows how much I love t-shirts she went to Fiji on a she did a, did a, a trip to Fiji 
the land of the tough coconuts. And so she got this for me because she knows how much I love t-shirts. So I've got one from Fiji, even though I've never set foot there. Hopefully I might change that, but you know, we can dream. Uh, <laughs> all we can do is dream. And then there is uh, Italia, which is a shirt I got. I don't know, I don't remember exactly where I got it, but yeah, I just got this uh, random Italia, I pretty sure it's a soccer shirt for the Italian national team, but yeah, uh, and then this shirt is the POTUS 1 t-shirt that I got at Mount Vernon, which is the resting place, and I think also the birthplace and the home of George Washington. Um, I went to this place while I was in D.C. It's not that far away from D.C. It's just like, I think, 30 minute drive, I think, to at most. Um, yeah, so that was uh, pretty interesting. Um, and there's a nice view of the Potomac River. Um, so that's a lo it's a lovely view. I would very much recommend doing if you're in the D.C. area. And then, of course, I got this sort of uh, not very uh, kind of bland but inch cool t shirt. Uh, it, that was an unintentional pun, but you know, uh, I got it right away because it says keep Coolidge. Uh, I got this when I was in Vermont, and Vermont, the only president I believe that is resting in Vermont, is uh, uh, what is it? Uh, yeah, it is uh, uh, Calvin Coolidge, yeah. And so I saw his sort of area where he was born and stuff. Uh, some of it was closed or the tours weren't available yet. So I wasn't or I, I couldn't, didn't have enough time for a tour. So uh, I didn't stay much, but I did see the grave, his grave. So that was interesting. And, uh, of course, I got a Coolidge t-shirt because I'm the t-shirt guy. <laughs> I have to get at least one t-shirt. And then we were in Portsmouth, uh, New Hampshire. And so I went to the John Paul Jones house. Now, for those who don't know, John Paul Jones was like this American Scottish pirate who, born in Scotland, he moved to America, uh, joined the... American Revolution, and because he's Scottish, he joined the side of the Americans because he won't take any chance not to bash an Englishman's skull in. And he ended up uh, being a part of the American Navy, taking a ship, sailing all the way back to England, uh, and uh, raiding a bunch of coastal cities along uh, Great Britain and uh, yeah, and so he stayed in one house in a Portsmouth that ended up becoming a museum. Now, of course, the majority of this museum is not wholly a John Paul Jones museum. It's also more or less just a Portsmouth museum in general. Um, and, it, and he didn't really live in Portsmouth. Uh, he was there for a brief time, but, you know, uh, he while he was there, that's where he stayed. And so they've, but they do have a lot of uh, parts about the uh, Russo-Japanese uh, War uh, uh, Treaty uh, negotiations. That was the Treaty of Portsmouth, New Hampshire, in New Hampshire, negotiated by uh, uh, Teddy Roosevelt. Uh, what's Teddy Roosevelt? I can't remember which leader of Russia it was. Um, and then the Japanese emperor, whoever it was, but yeah, I don't remember the heads of state, but I know that's where it was. Then I've got my New Orleans, the birthplace of jazz. I've got a lot of New Orleans t-shirts mainly because they've got this, uh, t-shirt shop. I believe it's on magazine street and they've got a number of t-shirts that they just push it designs that they just, and then they print them. And so, uh, yeah. 
that's um, so that's a neat little design and they got one of my favorite root beers at Barks so yeah um, all right now we've got what here we've got uh, what does it say yet yeah. the tenderloin Indiana born and breaded so this is a pig and if you look you'll see they've carved out a slice of the pig in the shape of Indiana which is cool um, I would have preferred a more traditional uh, shirt and not just like a big old pig that has a cut under the state of Indiana but that's really the only best option they had so I went with it <laughs> yeah not a lot of like some of the more touristy options you know tend to have great selections like California and Texas New York um, but when you get to like the uh, how shall I say it not as touristy states the options are very limited and not very good um, but then we also went to kind of an obscure place but that had great two that was a tourist trap in West Virginia uh, Point Pleasant West Virginia and they're famous for their Mothman I uh, decided to go to it because I don't know if you heard about uh, what is it uh, Fallout 76 yeah Fallout 76 so uh, they kind of did some promotion of West Virginia and they was this deal about the Mothman on the map and so in Point Pleasant so I decided and so we were planning a trip on going to West Virginia and so I was thinking let's stop at this museum on the way and go check it out and it was pretty cool uh, the Mothman and I actually got a picture with the Mothman uh, I'm not you know savvy enough to put in a picture of me with the Mothman at least on editing it's been a while but yeah I'm not too stat savvy with it, so you won't get that. But then here is this uh, Assisi Italy shirt because I went to Assisi uh, on one of my trips on a trip to Italy. Uh, yeah, uh, it's a midpoint between uh, what is it, Rome and Florence. In the middle, or somewhere in the middle, is Assisi. And so, interesting place to go. Um, and I uh, got a t shirt there. It was pretty, pretty ballin', if I do say so myself. Um, then, this is another more local uh, t shirt. Uh, it's uh, JB Legacy Barbecue Beer Bear Bar Barbecue Burgers Beer uh, on the back it says meat. Um, this is I got from a burger joint or a barbecue joint in uh, Anna, Texas. Um, unfortunately, they're out of business. Uh, I went during the last day they were going to be open. I'm pretty sure. Um, so yeah, I got one of the last T-shirts that they had. Um, and so, um, and honestly, a funny story is my car broke down while I was uh, eating there. So, uh, I eat my, uh, my pulled pork sandwich. It was great. I get in my car, start it up, and it ain't starting. It ain't starting. Finally. Because I'm, Anna, Texas is pretty darn north from Dallas, so I'm a good hour or so away, and uh, I'm going up to Van Alston to uh, see my dog, because, well, uh, it's in the summertime, and I think we're, he's up at a doggy daycare place, uh, 
for a decent chunk of time because we're we're back for only a little bit and then we're going someplace we were going someplace else um so i was like that's too long for me to go without seeing tivo so i drive all the way up north to this remote little town to go see my uh, to go see my dog and uh yeah, uh, my car ended up getting, I ended up getting jumped by a police officer, and, uh, um, I think it might have been the local police chief, I don't know, I don't remember exactly, but, uh, yeah, uh, then I went up all the way, then I went to Van Alston, and my car wouldn't start there again. Uh, so I was stuck there. The good news is I was stuck there with my dog. So if there's any place worth getting stuck, it's there. All right. So, I don't know where I was just now. Zoned out for a little bit. But yeah, not too long. I've been looking at the time. Uh, but yeah, so this has been part three of my t-shirts. I finished, uh... T-shirts. So you can be rest... But don't be rest assured that this is the last of the t-shirt vids. It just means I need to go assemble my t-shirts get another stack of them from uh because i got a lot of them i just got a lot of damn t-shirts um so yeah uh don't be rest assured there will be more where this came from where there will be wearing a different shirt similar shade of red slash pink who knows all i do know is I got way too many damn shirts. And I'm going to get more of them. Don't you worry. Even the shirts that I got now that I'm going to show off. They ain't. I'm expecting. I think another one. Um, I've got some more t-shirts. I'm going to keep getting more and more. Uh, but yeah. I can't wait to. Have my t-shirts. Uh, done. But you know what would be pretty cool? Yeah, I mean, I'll maybe do that for a different video. But yeah, this has been part three. Get ready for part four. <laughs>